Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, I just want to take a moment to say thank you to all of my ch If you're not a channel member, then consider becoming one. Um, I have two tiers. The first tier is a shout out. Uh, the first tier is a shout out supporter where your name will appear at the beginning. The second tier is the weekly catch ups and where I normally provide on a weekly basis some form of content, whether that is a pre recorded video. Usually speaking, that will be in the form of a get ready where I talk to you about my, my life stuff that is going on. It's the, they're a little bit more personal or I do a live stream and I just catch up with you guys. It kind of depends on what I have going on. I play it a little, I do try to deliver pretty much every single week on the member of course if you can't be a member just being here and watching the video is greatly appreciated if you want to leave a like and a comment that will be even more and i would of course not say no to a super thanks regardless just you being here being present and interacting with the video is more. i just want to take this moment to say an extra thank you to my channel members if you're a channel member you know how much i appreciate you how much you mean to me and I keep you up to date on as much as possible the things that are going on in terms of uploading with content etc so thank you again so so much I really do appreciate it you mean hey guys what's up and welcome back to the channel my name is Ilona I'm also in the Chicago Transformations I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder I should be quite vague now actually because I just ate some food do we see leg veins bodybuilder things you own on you only understand the 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 excitement of what a bicep vein means if uh, if you go to the gym um which the person we're going to react to today claims that she does but we all know she doesn't really uh we're going to look at some glitter and lasers but it's going to be her the video from the what's it called I'm completely unprepared because I wasn't sure if I was going to film my trained actually quite heavy this morning. Quads and basically, it killed me. <laughs> I need I didn't need to have a post workout nap and um, and an extra coffee or two. <laughs> but here we are. This is also why I'm not really bothered with my makeup because well, I just couldn't be bothered. I just lit. I literally don't have the energy to do anything. <laughs> I cannot explain how only 50 grams of cream of rice before training when you're training heavy quads and you're doing 100 kilos for reps of 10 to 12 with back squat. And then I did a top set of three and a half plates aside on the hack squat, you, want, you know the one that slides up and down, all the way up, all the way down, no quarter reps, with back offsets, pauses, longer to more tempos, 100 kilo leg extensions, 20 kilo walking lunges, 10 to 12 to 15 reps, a, a leg, slow tempo. It's hard. But I choose to do it, it's enjoyable, but I'm, I, A, I don't know where I got the energy from to do this, to A, to do the exercises, and B, now, now I'm on the struggle bus because my body is just like, bro, you're, you're not eating enough food for this, and you're too, you're getting too lean for this. But alas, here we are, caffeinated, and we're gonna watch this, we're gonna watch this video facing my fears, the seven, six day you have to experience, Oh, before we get into it though, um, I know there's been some issues with my mic, so for now I'm just not going to use the, my mic, I'm just going to use the camera mic. I either need to get a new mic or a new cable. I probably, I will start off with getting a new cable, the thing is, is like, I literally don't have time to go to a tech shop, it's all out of my way. Um, and when I do have some downtime, the last thing I want to do is like go into town to go to a specialist shop to like buy a freaking cable. And also I don't, I, I'm kind of skinned because, you know, competing is expensive and I've had to pay for my show, I've had to pay for my flights paid for on the flight in addition that I didn't need to play pay for. So there's like, I've had a lot of expenses this month and like spending money on a microphone is just not really uh, that important to me right now. So I'll use this microphone for now. I'll try and fix it. I'll try and get a new cable, if not a new microphone, but I'll do that later or next month or after this YouTube payday. But yeah, I, I know it's an issue. So for now, we'll just go with this mic or this audio. It's not the best, but it's not terrible. So on that note, let's, Get into some uh, glitter and lasers. I think as much as my body changes, there's still so many things that are hard and out of my reach. Potentially might be the most embarrassing situation I have to be in. This is my first time trying to do that. I'm so nervous. It always sucks when I'm unprepared for something that might be challenging or difficult or overwhelming. Let's go! Look at this! The dramatics of it all. <laughs> I mean, like, obviously, it's it's normal that a lot of things that, you know, when you're more able-bodied, or 
average body fat size, then yeah, certain things are going to be easier to do than others. To be fair, I will stand by it. I think it's actually kind of impressive that she was able to, to pull herself out of the water. I generally thought she was going to need people to do it. She was going to need people to help her do it. I'm surprised that she could do it on her own. So, fair play to that. After this, I'm very much into at the moment this this spark. Do you like sparkling water? I love sparkling water. It's a very uh, it's a very much a mom I think, isn't it? People love it or hate it. This one comes with lemons, delicious. Um, but after this, I'm gonna make my amino slushy, which is basically ice cubes, sugar-free lemonade, or Seven Up, Seven Up, yeah, Seven Up, or whatever. And then a scoop of amino. Oh, you blitz it together and it becomes a slushy, but with basically no calories and it tastes amazing. We only meet. There's nobody with me. <laughs> no one's saying me. And usually when I say me, I'm referring to my dog, so that's the only other person on the run. But um, yeah, we're headed to St. Thomas now and I think it's like a four hour ish flight. Oh, I saw this on the farms. The guy in the background. We have to keep an eye, we have to keep an eye on uh, Matey in the background here. I'm not 100% certain, but uh, from there I have to get a ferry. And then for the ferry, I'll go to the hotel. And then we'll leave from the island we're ferrying to. So. Yeah, I don't know any of these people and I literally don't even know what we're doing, so I'm excited but also kind of a little stressed out because of You see, this is why I don't really vlog and stuff like that in public because I just feel so awkward when there's people in the background Unless it's like something like a, you're going to like um, uh, a cathedral or something like that, then it's different But for me to just like, I have done it a little bit here and there but I just feel really awkward like getting my camera out to supermarkets or like um, even when I'm in the gym, whenever you watch my gym footage, people are always asking, it's like, oh Oh, well, it has happened a few times. People ask me, like, it's always so quiet where you go. It's like, well, I, A, I don't film if it's busy. Or B, I set my camera up in such a way that I try to minimize people in the background as much as possible. But I do train in the morning, so it's not as busy. But I just feel awkward. Like, I couldn't sit there in a camera uh, in, a, in, a, in a public space like that, just, like, talking to myself with lots of people around me. I just feel incredibly awkward doing it. I don't know. But we know Anna has no shame, so. Yeah, no, I'm all about it. Number one. I'm Hannah. Hannah Lee. We're gonna have a taxi. A taxi with Hannah Lee. Two more people have found us. And now we are going to the ferry. Introduce yourself to ladies. Hi, I'm Jillian. Okay, Jillian and Erica. And we are going out. They're the people that narrating with nothing behind me. Uh, yeah. I just woke up. <laughs> Last night I seriously got to the hotel and I just passed out. Just passed out. I needed it. We are literally just here for tonight, or no, for last night. <laughs> I'm not awake yet. Um, but today we're going to the boat, which is where we'll stay for the rest of the trip. Um, just with like docking times and everything, we needed to stay in a hotel. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so now I need to get up and get ready, but I don't wanna. This bed was very comfortable and I would very much enjoy. Can you imagine? <laughs> getting get paid for a holiday and then you're complaining about having to like travel and like getting out of bed. It must be tough being a, an influencer living living the influencer lifestyle. I, on the other hand, I, I don't really get offers like that. I do sometimes get offers for sponsorships, but it's, also, it's only for shit like Timu, which I don't believe in and stuff like that, or products that I wouldn't ever recommend to my audience. And um, otherwise, like actual companies probably aren't interested because I'm very open about my performance enhancers use and a lot of people don't like that. This is why a lot of people don't talk about it. But that's fine. I'm, I'm quite happy to not sell my soul to the devil and to be honest instead. You know, it, it, we all have our um, we all we all are willing to do certain things for money and certain things not. And you know, for me, just being an honest and transparent person is more important than to make an extra five hundred bucks on a, a uh, on a sponsorship. So, people want to sponsor me; they have to sponsor me. Same as with the tattoos. People say for tattoo cover up. Could I win shows? Maybe, but I don't want to be somebody that I'm not. In order to win shows, it's like either I should win because I'm the best, and if people mark me, but mark me down for tattoos, then so be it. I'm not gonna change who I am to to fit. To fit, a, to fit a box, you know, accept me for who I am, and if not, then okay. Just, you know, a little more time here. I even got like the mound of pillows. Oh, the pillows were so good, guys. Does she sleep? That's a really weird way to have your pillows. Does she sleep sitting up? She has to have sleep on here, right? Does she use a machine? I'm not, I won't be surprised if she does. Obviously, it would be a sensible thing to do, but um, yeah, that's a weird way to have your pillows. Yet. Oh, we have a new addition. Okay. Turn around and introduce yourself. Oh, which. Oh, that's like really. How awkward is that just to walk up to somebody and tell them to be like. Unless they agreed on that. 
But otherwise, I guess this person is vlogging too, but still. She's filming at the same time. Hi. I screwed everything up. <laughs> I'm giving up on my hair, guys. It's gonna be rough this whole trip because uh, it's not a priority. The adventure is the priority. So we're successfully on the boat. This is the boat. Uh, there's like a seating area here. There's food in there, and we're gonna figure out where I'm gonna be staying. I do really. I have to say, I do like these colors on her. Uh, the pants are not very flattering at all, but the color scheme is very, it's very nice on her. Um, I'm excited. <laughs> this is so fun! So it is too hot, so I'm just taking my pants off. <laughs> I think I'm not gonna be wearing anything other than a swimsuit this entire trip, and I am not mad at it. As she should, queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being filmed by another, like, queen. The British queen. The but British queen. queen. Oh okay, so these rooms, these rooms are more like cubbies. They are cubbies. I have no clue where my luggage will go. Let me show you what. You can't go on a boat, what do you expect? Like, what do you expect? Like, well, like a, a five by five meter room? It's a fucking boat, of course it's small. That's usually how it works. The fact that you get to go on a yacht for free should be more than should be more than enough. You should be grateful. I'm not complaining about the size of your cabin. It's a boat. Of course, the cabins are small. That's how that works. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, I cannot. I am in the bathroom, and it is very small, and I am nervous that I will not fit on the toilet. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Like it's it's literally potentially might be the most embarrassing situation I have to be in. So I'm gonna try to pee right now and we're gonna read about FA. I will say my spatial awareness of my own body is really not great right now because she's coming to realize that actually she is a lot bigger than what she thinks she is. I guess so. My body's changed so much that like I just don't mentally know what But she thinks she's a skinny legend now, yeah. Not still five hundred pounds. Size I am and where I'll fit. So I could totally fit. I could totally not fit. And so it's where things like this when traveling. It's, it's crazy to like be in a position where you're so big that you don't know. Like, don't get me wrong, like toilets on airplanes and stuff like that are small. They are difficult to navigate. I'm quite a tall person. I'm not abnormally tall, but I'm, I'm taller than most average women. I'm tall for Dutch average height. I'm 173 to 175 centimeters, depending on how well, well slept I am, etc., etc. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's like my uh, that's, that's my height. It kind of varies. Usually speaking, when I compete, I'm measuring at like 171, 173 because dehydration, training, etc. You shrink actually. But yeah, normally speaking, like 173 to 175. I used to be 175, 100 percent. I've measured that at school before, but I've maybe shrunk, maybe from training. But like hydration and sleep matters. So like for a woman, I'm taller. So things like airplanes and stuff like that can be. A little bit more annoying than for somebody that's shorter, but I just can't imagine being so big that you just don't know if you can fit into spaces. Like, no, just I mean, it's not a normal space, it's a boat, it's small, but still, you know, it's just crazy to think that, like, physically, your, cu your cubic mass takes up more space than the, than the space that you're supposed to be going in. Words, yeah, I think things get really like gut wrenching when it's like. I'm away from a dock. We don't have any rooms to go. Like this is it. So uh, I need to pee in here or in, uh, I guess, pee in the ocean. <laughs> I fit. I fit. No drama. I fit. Where are my fingers? I'm gonna go on this deck. You're gonna go on that high. You got that. I am full cheeked out, and we're gonna go swim in that water. Look how beautiful it is there. I would love to go. Life is good. Life is good. Yeah, you better. I'm just gonna put these on first. And one, two, three. <laughs> Let's go! Honestly, this is incredible. <laughs> oh no, It is incredible. She's very lucky to be able to do these things. Be trapped in the cave! Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, you better. Something incredible. I wonder if there's sharks there. There's this lady that I follow on Instagram, right? She's like this marine biology, like shark lady specialist. And she's always like doing these videos. It's like, oh, if a shark comes up to you, don't swim away fast. Just face it front on. And if they come to you, just tap them on the nose. <laughs> like, I don't know, if a great shark, great white or like some other shark comes to me, I think it'll be very difficult to try and manage my, um, my stress levels, you know? They have a little teeth and a big mouth. 
But apparently that's the way to do it. Apparently swimming away just makes them want to chase you. And like staying calm and facing them makes them not chase you. Which is I suppose good to know if you're ever in that situation and you, re you remember to think like that and not get panicked because you know sharks and teeth and big mouths. Okay, I am done. I'm going back to the boat. I'm getting tired. Um, I, I wonder how long she was in the boat for. I have a really cool way I get on the boat that I kind of modified. Sometimes things are just not easy and you have to figure out your own way. So I did that and I'll show you guys. Here. I like in moments like this I do actually kind of feel sorry for her but then she's put herself in this position so I can't feel too much sorry for her but it's impressive nonetheless like really it really is like she's so heavy the fact that she's able to pull herself up like that is impressive and I kind of feel sorry because it is embarrassingly you're gonna have to do this but she did it herself so Exploring. Let's look at that. How ridiculous. How ridiculous. So I don't know if like this whole exploring thing is something she should be doing on her own just from a safety perspective. Um, I don't know what kind of insurance these people have on this boat. Probably a very good one I'd imagine. But I wouldn't be too keen on somebody that is um, morbidly obese. Just go rock climbing. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I won't be taking on somebody that's more little piece to go rock climbing because if she falls and she fucks herself up, it's a big problem. Literally. And figuratively speaking. Oh god, this is a tiny little space. Tiny little space. We don't love it, but we're going through it. Oh my god. So I'm all by myself. Um I think this is really dumb and I don't think this is actually a smart example to set at all. I think she is like, I know she's trying to do this all like, oh I'm so brave and I'm a big girl like, overcoming the world. But really, you shouldn't be encouraging people your size to do shit like this on their own. It's actually very stupid. It's like I would never go hiking in certain places that are treacherous on my own. Because it's just dumb isn't it? You know, you stay to the trail, you stay on the tracks. Unless maybe you're super advanced and so you have like all kinds of like tech with you. But otherwise, you just have to be sensible. You know, it's the same as like, I'm gonna have to be careful with my training. Going forward, everything's gonna be in the higher repetitions. If I start doing low rep, one rep max stuff, it's stupid because my body is just not uh, built for it. So I will be setting a bad example. You need to, you know, she's an influencer, she should influence. This is influencing the wrong thing. You should not encourage people that are super morbidly obese. Therefore, like not as able-bodied or not even not remotely as able-bodied as normal people, normal normal BMI people, to go on fucking hikes like this on their own. It's it's stupid, really. Like frankly, it's stupid. Everyone, I don't know where the hell they are at this point. Uh, but just a lot of really small spaces that I'm having to get through, and I'm feeling really overwhelmed um, because it's very uncomfortable. Um, and I was not prepared for this, and I feel like I'm glad I'm on my own because. I wouldn't want to like experience this with people that I didn't know really really well but it is like stressful to be alone because it's like if I hurt myself or if I like can't get through um, there's no one to tell so I kind of keep taking these little nooks as like a fingers crossed I can crawl because it's like if I hurt myself or if I like can't get through um, there's no one to tell so yeah that's just literally exactly what I was just saying I kind of keep taking these little nooks as like a fingers crossed I can crawl my way through it and I've literally been crawling on my hands and knees which is also not what I was prepared for today and I'm just trying not to cry. That's where I'm at right now. I'm trying so I think she's just basically coming to the realization that she's not uh, the fitness or skinny legend that she thinks she is. I think it's really irresponsible I think it's really stupid frankly. She should not be doing any of this on her own. It's just like you're not being brave you're being dumb. Really, like let's be real. I'm not. I'm not gonna climb a mountain. I'm pretty able-bodied, and like I'm, I have quite a lot of upper body strength. But I know sure as shit that I shouldn't be free climbing no fucking mountains. Because guess what? <laughs> it would be dangerous and stupid, and I probably could hurt myself. 
And when I do hurt myself, it could be a very serious problem. Especially when you're alone. I have to cry. Um, I think as much as my body changes, there's still so many things that are hard. She's literally lost like 60 pounds, if even that, through, through the means of injections, because we know the diet ain't there. We've seen what she she's like shit. Um, the exercise ain't it either because she doesn't exercise nowhere near enough. So it is the fat loss injections, which there's nothing wrong with. But she is talking as though she's lost like half her body weight. And like the reality is like, yeah, you lost a few pounds, basically. <laughs> I mean, like 60 pounds is still a lot, but it's not like you've undergone this very significant transformation where you're unrecognizable. It's kind of like, yeah, the, when you look at the side by side, they're like, yeah, there's a difference. Some. But not like, oh my word. Who are you? Who is this person? And out of my reach. And I guess that's what keeps me pushing to get to where I want to be is to be able to have better access to these things. But it always sucks when I'm unprepared for something that might be challenging or difficult or overwhelming. And it even is harder when I just don't feel like I have anybody who's on my team. Uh, I love these girls. They're super nice, but they don't know me and they don't know what I go through. So it's, it's kind of like really feels lonely. It really feels well, I guess that's kind of the whole thing with like influence trips, isn't it? You go there and you don't know anybody that's going to be there. I'm going down backwards because somehow I feel safer. She did manage. She, she did manage to set up uh, the camera shots, though. So it can't have been that treacherous and that dangerous if she was able to get some B-roll footage. Look at that! Climbing. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell freaking yeah! <laughs> Hell the freaking yeah! Okay, we did it. It was hard, but it was really worth it. So I'm proud of myself. <sighs> <laughs> I feel like that's the theme of this adventure being a little uncomfortable, but having it pay off in the end. The way she our friend is all over. Guys, guess where we are again? We're at the, the sea. sea! So today we're gonna go to the sea. Oh, I think she literally has the same vlogging camera as what I do. I think so. I think by her, just has the zoom option. Like I said in the, my reaction from the other day, that was a good dive, there wasn't too much splashing. Anna, that was so good! I've never done a touch before! I'm a fucking superhero! <laughs> you got it. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> that was good, that was good. I just taught them how to dive and they killed it! Their first dives were awesome, 10 out of 10s. Now it's Caroline's turn. You ready? You ready? You're gonna kill it. It's so hard. We're going for that! Look how gorgeous that is. It's paradise, isn't it? A little sand island. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this is where we're going. Isn't that insane? And like, it's natural, guys. So apparently a little wave during a hurricane. You need to run down what's going on. I've swum to this freaking boat about 50 million times. Every time I turn around, it's gone further away. I'm getting pissed off. I'm going to get out of this freaking boat like hard! Yeah, so that's where we're at right now. <laughs> to the water. You've got it, Al. You've done it! <laughs> Woo! And the crazy thing is, is that like this girl is like big, but she makes Anna look small. She's not enormous. She's just like you know normal, normal people, normal people fat, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, she's she's a big girl, but like she's just tiny compared to Anna. It literally took me until now to feel totally comfortable. And I think that this trip has made me grow and change and adapt. And I think that sometimes we look at change and things that are pushing us as and things that are gonna <laughs> Even if it's not perfect, even if it's not right, sometimes those things change us for the better. And that's definitely what happened here. These living changed me. And I'm grateful for it. And that's it guys, we are done. We are going back to port. But you know what? Before we do, I'm gonna get one last lemon. This guy was bringing bananas, but it's actually empanadas. But like, which would you think would be more logical to bring to the boat? Bananas or... I mean, an empanada is nice though. Empanadas. But like, we now have this empanada, <laughs> but nobody really wanted it. Okay, so they were delicious. Oh, wow. Well, she has such nice skin in the other video. What happened? I guess the filters were fading, right? So we just, just ordered more. Oh, cool. Cool. 
Come here, come here. Oh, here. look at the puppy. <laughs> Your dog living a life, man. Oh, oh so my word. My <laughs> this is all of it. Could the state of the room, but I suppose, like, you know, when it's like a small room, there's not really much you can do. Eh? Oh, God. MTV, welcome to my crib. That's it. We're back at the marina. The adventure is over, and I learned a lot. I learned that when I get uncomfortable, man, it hits hard, and sometimes I just want to give up, but the best things happen when I don't. I feel like I had an adventure, a lot of challenges, but also a lot of memories that I'm really proud of. So, I hope this inspires some of you to just get out there and do something that scares you. And even if. Yeah, being uncomfortable makes you grow as a person. Who would have known? It's like, you know, that's how life works, isn't it? It's hard and really uncomfortable. You might just surprise yourself of what you're capable of and what you've been like. If anything, this trip taught me about myself. And I am still figuring out who I am. I don't think that ever stops, by the way. I think that is a lifelong journey. And I'm just grateful to be one step closer to me. So that guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later, and as I always say, peace. Alrighty, well, that's the end of the video. I need to go because I need to eat something before I have my client check-ins, and then I need to edit this video. And I really need to clean in here because I didn't do it yesterday, I didn't hover, and I can tell there's all the dog hairs. So, thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video. If you disliked it, let me know down below why. Insert an island emoji, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.